Warning! Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Today I am going to show you how we butchered our chicken. No, I'm not going to show you the killing part, however I will show you how we dressed it out. I first started with an extremely clean surface. I double cleansed it, so after I did the first scrub, my son helped me do the second scrub, and then we made sure to sharpen all of our knives. I will be using Mad Dogs for all parts of this, and then I heated some water to 140 degrees. Once that was heated, we went ahead and dunked the chicken in the water for about 30 seconds. This will loosen the feathers. After that, I use my rubber gloves and I just kind of wipe the chicken down and the feathers come right off. We don't have a plucker, so uh, if you have a plucker, you may only have to dunk once, but because I do not have a plucker, I had to go back in for a few more dunks. I used some tweezers to get some of the smaller feathers or some of the feathers that were a little bit more stubborn. And I have a bowl here that I'm putting everything into so that all the feathers can go into my compost. My husband got in on the plucking action and my son desperately wanted to help, but I figured maybe he's just a little too young. We want to make sure that we're constantly working on a clean space. We want to make sure that everything is sanitary, so you will see me clean my workspace throughout this. Then it's time to remove the feet. All I did was cut the skin around it and then stuck my knife in between the two joints there to uh, separate that ligament and then I just kind of ripped it off so that the bone is still intact, there's no shards, um, but it's it's clean. Then I made a small slit to create a cavity and then we're going to cut around the rectum being careful not to pierce the colon or any of the intestines. Once you have all of that separated you can just stick your hand in and pull everything out. That will go into a bucket as well, and that will also go into my compost. This chicken made an amazing sacrifice for our family, and so we want to make sure that no part of her goes to waste. Once everything is nice and clean, I will go through with tweezers and pluck the feathers, and while we wait for that to brine in a salt water and brown sugar brine. I ran out to my garden and grabbed some uh, fresh herbs. And then after the chicken sat in the brine for about six hours, my son helped me get it ready to go in the oven. Great job. Even Emberly got in on some of the action. Once we had it dressed, this is what it looked like. I went ahead and put all the veggies around it so that they could cook in the drippings. While that's in the oven, I am going to make something to paste the chicken in. So we're going to add equal parts white wine and chicken broth with half, uh, with juice of half a lemon. Okay. Done. Once this has been cooking for about 30 minutes, now it's time to put our base. So we'll pour that all onto the chicken and onto the veggies as well. Making sure everything is nice and coated. And then we will get a turkey baster and suck up some of those juices uh, every 15 minutes or so until it looks like this. And the inside temperature is 180 degrees. 
when I tell you this was the juiciest, most tender, delicious chicken that we have ever had, I am not lying. Thanks for watching.